In this video, we will cover the basic steps of creating a project in Mobile Data Collection Portal. We will start by logging into your MDC Portal account by using your JS Cloud credentials. Note that you can have as many projects as you like, whether they are your own or shared from a different user. The difference is that you can edit your own projects, while other user projects you can only access based on the privileges that he assigned to you. Let's create a project by clicking the Create New Project button. First, let's take a look at a variety of fields you can have in your custom form. As you can see, there are multiple options to choose from, like standard items that include select lists, radio buttons, and so on. Media, like photos and audio recording. Then device and user data, along with location data, your device can automatically collect. And the best part is, the list is constantly upgraded based on your feedback. For this example, I am creating a project for traffic and parks maintenance. I'll start by adding a text field for the person collecting the data for us. Note that you can set up your values to be persistent, which means this value will be set by default after the first time you populate it, or required, which means you will have to populate this field in order to be able to send your data. I will set mine as persistent. Next, I will add date and time field, which as you can see has a couple of options to choose from. I want both time and date to be collected for my project. Then I will choose the select list, and here I will create two groups, one for traffic and one for parks, with different options data collector can choose from based on the element they are inspecting. As you can see, we just recently added the option to have dependent fields in your custom forms, which the next video will be about, so stay tuned. Next, I will add a photo field so that we can take a photo of the element we are inspecting. And as my last two items in this form, I will add latitude and longitude. Once we hit the Create Project button, a preview of our form will appear so you can do a quick checkup of fields and see if you need to edit some of the items. Ok, so let's see how does our form look like once we are in the Mobile Data Collection application. Once you are logged in, you can choose between projects and maps and layers. I will go ahead and refresh my project list as I created a project in MDC Portal. Maps and layers are the option if you are collecting the data in a map you created in Map Editor. I will go ahead and populate my form so that you can see how certain parts of it work. As you can see, I populated my surveyor's name, chose the time and date, along with the element of inspection. I will then take a photo and click Send. Let's see how the persistent field looks like after we send the first point. As you can see, it remembered my first entry, and it will leave it now as a default unless I change it. Data is sent instantly, so you will receive the data from the field on your account in real time. Once we open the project, your collected attributes will be seen in the info window, which opens by clicking each individual point location, or all the data in a tabular format by clicking the data panel below. With the various fields you can add to your form, you can adapt your data collection projects to any industry you're in. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more videos to come.